Welcome to Planet Vehicle, an automotive reality show. Planet Vehicle helps the viewer experience the world of automobiles. We review new cars and take you on test drives. We talk with the heads of the automotive industry to find out what products their companies are bringing to the showroom. Transportation is a large part of lifestyle. We bring you athletes, business leaders, and celebrities at events where cars, SUVs, and motorcycles are featured and highlighted. Classic cars, new cars, or futuristic cars, Planet Vehicle puts them in the spotlight. Planet Vehicle introduces you to car clubs, takes you to auto shows, and reports from the racetrack. In addition to our television program, Planet Vehicle's website keeps you updated on the latest news and trends, while our viewer appreciation events provide the opportunity to mingle, network, and experience new and exciting models straight off the assembly line. An automobile is a huge purchase. Planet Vehicle shows you how to take great care of your investment, whether it's safety, maintenance, or ideas to customize your vehicle. Join us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and the web. Planet Vehicle brings you the world of automobiles. It's a beautiful day to look at cars. Hey, it's Alvin Jones for Planet Vehicle. Today, we are coming to you live from Goose Creek Village in Ashburn, Virginia. They call it the turkey trot, but if you look at the cars, these are all golden cars, no turkeys here. We've got some car owners and some cars and some great things coming up. It's all coming to you live right here on Planet Vehicle. Action. I love telling big stories about big heroes, but at the end of the day, real life is better than any story. Our servicemen and women are the real heroes. Every day, they make the sacrifices for their country, for my country, for my son's country. The USO gives us real ways to support our real heroes. There is a way we can say thanks. You can go to USO.org and make a real difference in their lives today. Do it. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alfred Morris of the Washington Redskins. You're watching Planet Vehicle. Welcome back. It's Planet Vehicle. We are here live from the Goose Creek Village Shopping Center in Ashburn, Virginia. We got a great car show today, and we've got Mercedes, we got Corvettes, we got everything you could imagine, Lincolns. But we've got a man who knows about Mercedes. He is the author of a new book. It's called here it is right here. Mercedes W113, the complete story. It's the story of the SL Mercedes, also known as the Bogota. It is Miles Kornblatt. How are you, Miles? Doing very good. As you can tell, it's a very catchy title, right? Yes, e yes. Easy to say, easy to remember. So for the enthusiasts, you want it, you'll get it. Right. For everybody else, it might take a little bit. but. Right. Uh, <laughs> well, so for those who don't understand, what is the W113? W113 is the internal designation that Mercedes gave the car when they developed it and basically as through its lifespan, when they wanted to refer to the car, it wasn't going to be the SL to them because they were predecessors. It was, they knew what they were talking about by knowing W113. There you go. Now, so now, how did it get the nickname the Pagoda? Well, the Pagoda goes because of the unique roof that this car has. If you have a hard top on this car, what happens is, is it's concave in the middle, and that's done for both strength because that way it can have a little bit of strength in the metal, but also it gives you a better view outside of the car because the window goes up higher, and you can look up and look out higher, but it really is more than anything else, and even historically, it's an aesthetic element. It gives the car a talking piece, something for people to really look at. So now when does the book come out? Well, the book is going to be out in the spring. You know, the time to take the top down is a time to also maybe look at the book about convertibles. All right. <laughs> now, how do people reach you if they want to know more about you? Um, if they want to know more about me, I'm currently the curator of the Miami Auto Museum. Or you can also get through me. I've got a website, which is autominded.com. And between those two ways, if somebody wants to find me, I'll be there. So if you're down in Miami, you want to see some great cars, you just look up Miles. Do you have an email address or a website? Um, website is autominded.com, and so that's the best way to contact me is through the contact forms on that site. There you go. And ladies and gentlemen, I got to tell you, this is a coup because Miles is traveling. Matter of fact, you got to go to the airport. So we had to, we had to interview Miles first just to make sure we got him. On my way to Detroit, right. I might love the Mercedes, but I also do the American cars, too. This gentleman is a, a member with me with the Washington Automotive Press Association, WAPA, and he's got a Bogota Bill Lightfoot. How are you doing, sir? Oh, well, thank you. Good to see you, and thanks for putting this on. It's a great event. Well, first of all, thank you for your support, because I know you had a lot to do with getting cars here, so thank you so very much for that. So let's talk about your Bogota. This is a 1968? 1968 Mercedes 250 SL, uh-huh. Right. So now, how long have you had it? I've had it for three years. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
and I was looking for one, and I wanted one with the hard top, and uh, they had uh, both hard and top, uh, soft tops, or you could get a California model that only had a hard top but not a soft top. Oh, wow. So now, when you look at a car like this, what inspired you to buy it? I kind of always liked the looks of the of the 250 uh, or the, the 113, they call them, series. That's 230 SL, 250 SL, and 280SL. They call those W113s, Mercedes did. They're, they're sort of the last of the, the handmade Mercedes, if you would. For example, if you want a hard top with the car, the, you have to buy the car that has that hard top with it because uh, they're made for that specific car. In other words, they're not inter interchangeable. Okay. Ray Slick next door, his top won't go on my car, mine won't go on his car. Oh, wow. They were the last of the, kind of the handmade Mercedes. Now, you're also an automotive journalist. If someone wants to reach you, how can they? You got a website, blog site, email, uh, telephone, email post office box? <laughs> W.lightfoot at cox, C O X dot net. Well, Bill, thanks a lot. Okay. This is one of the gentlemen that threw out my reign as president of WAPA, Washington Automotive Press, was very supportive and did not try to impeach me. So I'd like to thank you for letting it was me a great finish my president. Turn. We're going to get him back again. We're checking out all the great cars here today at the Turkey Trot. No turkey cars, though, and no turkey people. Bill Schlick is here. He's got a pagoda. How you doing, sir? First of all, let me shake your hand. Thank you for coming out. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Let's talk, a, let's talk about your pagoda. This is a 1967 uh, Mercedes Benz 250 SL. And it's a California coupe. It has no folding top. It is only only a hard top. So let me ask you this, because we're going to go over here, Mike. Mike, my camera person. This is like your luggage rack here. That's the luggage rack. Yeah, that's that's, a, that's an period accessory from uh, 1967. Now, how long have you had it? 28 years. Wow. Not the luggage rack, but the car. Oh, so you got the t luggage rack later? Later. But okay. the luggage rack is from a 67. Yeah. Now, if somebody wanted to get a pagoda like this, how difficult are they to get to get now? They are. Well, they built 50,000 of them, so over a span of 10 years. So they are available out there in almost any color you want. All right. All right. So uh, this, like I said, I bought this in 1985, and it was, uh, it was not in the best of conditions. So I since took it apart, nut for bolt, screw for washer, and uh, rebuilt it. How long did it take you to do the rebuild? About six years. Right. <laughs> That's right. I mean, how, how... It took me three years to put it back together after I, after I had it apart. That's right. Cool. Well, it looks like you did a good job. Thanks for coming out and supporting everybody. It's a pleasure. That's All right. right. Taking a look at another Bogota, we have Jorge Espinosa. Jorge, how are you? Let me shake your hand. Thanks for coming out today and supporting everybody. Mm -hmm. It's great being here. We drove all the way down from New York just for this event, and we're glad we came. Wait a minute, ladies and gentlemen, and the winner for the longest driver in a car. Now, did you drive your car here? Yeah, I drove the car with my wife. <laughs> oh, did your wife say, hello, wifey? Because, you know, he couldn't have come and she didn't say yes. You know how that goes. Happy wife, happy life? Very, 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 uh, something along those lines, very happy. I don't know if y'all heard her, but she goes, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so... What year is yours? Uh, this is a 68 280 SL. Okay, and uh, how long have you had it? I just got it for November. Uh, I got it for my birthday, for uh, my 50th birthday. I gave it to myself. Wait, 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 wait. So you got this five years from now? <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be over, almost a year already. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Okay, so cool. So what do you like about it? What is, what is it about a Bogota that made you had to have it and do whatever your wife wanted you to do so you'll be able to get it? Well, I love that it's a very nice tour. You actually enjoy it. You're very comfortable on long trips, and it, it's, it's, it feels like a modern car, but it has that classic line look. There you go. Well, thank you, sir. Thank this, you. Man, this man drove, paid tolls, everything to come down here to Ashford, Virginia, at Goose Creek Village, so that we could see it. And what's your wife's name? Miriam. Okay, you have not so far, you've been on the camera, with, we've been on, on you about, what, a two minutes and you ain't said I love you, Miriam? What's wrong with you, man? Oh, I love you, Miriam, for letting me come go. down here. <laughs> Matter of fact, give me, Miriam, come here real quick. Come on out, here, 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 there we go. So now, th did you buy this for him or you allowed him to buy it? I allowed him to buy it. Okay, even better, right? <laughs> So did you have fun with the ride? Oh, yes, absolutely. Okay, it's so a wonderful she's fun. Ride. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know what they say, happy wife, happy life. So that's all I got to say about that. We've got some more cars coming. Keep it right here. This is Planet Vehicle. I'm Alvin Jones. We are at the Goose Creek Village Shopping Center in Aspirin, Virginia, for a very classic car show. Fifty years ago, Ann Fleming put together this idea called 
Bond, James Bond, and there were some great cars. I got together with two studs with TSC, and she coordinated a, a very special segment for the car show on Bond cars and maybe even Bond girls. And I think we've got somebody here. Who are you? I'm Rex Turner, a.k.a. James Bond. <laughs> Let's talk about your car, the 72 Mustang Mach 1. Uh, right. It was featured in the film uh, Diamonds Are Forever. Uh, it was red. My car is yellow. But uh, I've had the car for about 32 years, and uh, I just really enjoy driving it and doing car shows and events like this. It's just a lot of fun. And you, you look the part. Uh, yes, I do. I'm <laughs> on. James Bond. Bond, James Bond. And you're going to see uh, Rex and his family later on because we've got some more stuff we're going to show because you got a Cobra and everything else like uh, that. Right, I got a Factory 5 Cobra and a, uh, some other Mustangs. And uh, I, just, I just enjoy uh, high performance cars and having fun at uh, car shows. There you go. So now we're going to go and see. We got another car here that was used in, uh, in the movies. Come on, is this your car, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> let's Mark. Yeah, that's correct. All right, let's tell us what kind of car this is. This is a 1987 Lotus Esprit Turbo. Mm -hmm. And it was used in the movie For Your Eyes Only. Uh -huh. What'd you like about this car? It's incredibly quick and it handles like a Bond car should. Uh -huh. Unbelievable car to drive, a lot of fun. Turns a lot of heads. There you go. All right, so now we're coming over here to the lady that put this whole thing together. She's a 002. Hello. Two stubs, how are you? Oh, 002, I get it now. <laughs> well, 002 replaced uh, the other 002 that was wiped out by Scaramanga. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm the A team. Okay, so now <laughs> who's, who's the little kitty? Oh, this is the white Persian kitty right here. Dr. No. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. Let's talk about the car that here for the, uh, this is owned by Dr. Steven Davidson. It's a 1980 Aston Martin Vantage V8. Absolutely. It was featured in the movie um, The Living Daylights, and it was, I mean, well equipped with laser and tire prodding equipment, as well as it was, it could actually explode when it was primed. Oh, wow. Absolutely. Now, you put this whole thing together and coordinated this whole James Bond thing. You know, what does it take to put something like this together? It uh, doesn't take too much because I have an annual James Bond black tie every year. Mm -hmm. So it is the same routine that we have. It's, uh, it's an annual benefit that uh, raises money for a veterans nonprofit every year in May. So next one's coming up, guys. There you go. And how can people find out more about your events and what's going on? Well, just tap into www.techsicorp.com forward slash 007.html and you can get tickets. Tickets are available to the public. Okay, we'll put that down on the screens for those of you who have a short memory. But look, great event. You even got the little, Mike, if you show here the little, the little Skyfall uh, banner. He's got books, the whole nine yards. Great job. So to put this all together, so we got to give you a big kudos. Thank you so much, Planet Vehicle. All right. So now we're going to go over here. We got some more cars here. We've got the uh, the Z8 BMW, which is a part of uh, a Bond car. This is owned by Dick Kipstein, but you had a chance to drive it out, right? Yes, sir. Uh, Dick's uh, one of my customers. I actually uh, run a shop here in Sterling, and uh, this this gentleman's one of my customers and was gracious enough to uh, let me have his car for the show. Well, let me give you. Let's do a free free plug for you. Tell me about your sh your shop. There you go. It's a uh, high end detailing shop here in uh, Sterling, Virginia, called Odds and Ends Detailing. Uh -huh. Got its name because I do all sorts of little odds and ends. So yeah, mostly mostly paint correction and uh, and high end uh, polishing stuff like that. Specializing in swirls and scratches and things like that. A lot of uh, a lot of people bring me cars that think they need painted, but they really don't. They just need a good polish to bring everything out and fix everything. There you go. Yep. Website. Uh, www.oddsandendsdetailing.com. All spelled out, all one word. There you go. So now here we go one more time. The last Bond car. You got this gentleman over here having a good time. It is. The 1970 Mercury Cougar RX-7 convertible. Let me come over here and say hello to Jim Snyder. How you doing? I'm very good, thanks. Now, how long have you had this uh, Cougar? We've, it's been in the family since 1971. Uh, I went down uh, to uh, D.C. with my dad, and he bought it. It was about a year old then. We've had it ever since, and I had it restored a few years ago. Okay, cool. So. Now, what did, are you a big James Bond fan? I love James Bond, and I remember the movie this was in, uh, Her Majesty's Secret Service. So it's, uh, I can think of a lot of the cars that were in all those films. It's kind of odd you got, you know, a British secret agent with an American car. That's kind of opposite. Well, this opposite. Diana Riggs' car. She was driving this in the snow, and uh, uh, 
and skis and the whole thing. There were some pretty cool chase sequences. And there were a lot of Ford cars in the Bond movies. Uh, if, you, if you look at them, you'll see Mustangs. And Ford had a lot of vehicles, uh, not always the star car, but often uh, a lot of cars in the Bond movies. <laughs> they definitely had a lot of product placement in those cars. And this was one of them. There you go. So, Jim, how long have you had this car, and do you have other cars? Um, well, we've had it in the family since 1971, so that's, uh, that's a long time. And uh, we have a 56 T-Bird that my mother-in-law bought new in California. She's 87, and we've restored that. It's a white T-Bird with a Continental kit and uh, red-white interior and, uh, you know, like the one in uh, American Graffiti. Cool. Well, thanks a lot for being a part of this and coming out and supporting us. Great, great event. Really enjoyed it. It's fun to see all these other cars and talk to you guys. There you go. So here we have it right here. We're going to end right here with the Skyfall, a great exhibit of the Bond cars. But I think we also have Bond girls. We were showing you the Bond cars. But, you know, if you got some great Bond cars, you got to have some great Bond girls. And I have four great girls with me. Hello. What's your name? Hi. Young me. Young me, and uh, which character are you from the Bond movies? Uh, it's um, Kisi Suzuki uh, from You Live Only Twice. All right, You Live Only Twice. I, I like the way you live it, I can tell you that right now. <laughs> yeah, I like to live the best. All right, now what do you like about being a Bond girl? What do I like? Yeah, about being a Bond girl. Oh, being uh, glamorous and uh, mysterious. Ooh, glamour and mystery. Hmm. Now, I'm going to go over to you. Hello, who are you? I'm Carmen Montes from Quantum of Solar. Okay, now, which, which movie are you from? Quantum of Solar. Okay. Quantum of Solar. Yeah. All right, now, what do you like about being a Bond girl? Um, they're hot and sexy. <laughs> hot and sexy. Two hots, two sexies. Let's go for number three. Hi, and your name is? My name is Ellie Honey Rider from 1962, the movie with the Dr. No. No, you. She's from 1962. I don't know what you've done. 1962, right? right yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you take, whatever vitamins is, but I want it. 1962 looks good. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. So much. And to c complete the, uh, well, we had a trifecta, so this is a grand slam. What's your name? I'm uh, my character Xenia. My name is Julia, but my char character Xenia on the top from Golden Eye. Uh -huh. And in the movie, I'm basically I behave like a man. I like guns. I like fast cars. So you like guns and fast cars? Yes. But you sure do not look like a man at all. <laughs> no, no, I'm beautiful like a woman, like there a lady. But go. I like I behave like a man. I like fast cars. I love a lot of guns, yeah. shooting. I love killing men. There you go. So for you young boys at home, let me show you all the ladies. Come on over. <laughs> if you eat your vegetables, if you do your homework, keep your room clean, respect your parents, you can possibly one day be a host of Planet Vehicle with the Bond ladies. Am I right, ladies? Yes. That's right. <laughs> We've got more coming up. We're here at Goose Creek Village Shopping Center in Ashburn, Virginia. It's the inaugural Turkey Trot with the Bond cars, the Bond girls, and much more. Keep it right here to Planet Vehicle. <laughs>
and it's, and, and it's just more you know more passion. Well, and plus people say that you know you always want to be the number one, and Mercedes Benz was the That's first right. car. We're the best or nothing. That's you know we stick by that. There you go. <laughs> now you are involved in other clubs throughout the uh, the area, not only Washington D.C. but throughout the Eastern Seaboard. That is correct. Uh, I'm a member of uh, Syndicate Car Club, with it, which is in the uh, DMV area, and WNC Ride, which is Western North Carolina Ride uh, Association. Yeah, I understand. You guys recently had a nice event down in Asheville. Uh, that's correct. Yeah, uh, well, actually, uh, a little further uh, east than Asheville, but it's touring. Uh, your rally, uh, learning about uh, historic sites around the area and doing a poker run with the uh, car club. So not only do you drive the cars, but you get to go places and learn things about it. So it's something good for the weekend, for a holiday. Correct. How can people know more about your organization if they want to join? Uh, well, uh, we do have a website, uh, gws-nbca.org, or just Google uh, nbca.org. And then with your local section, whatever, wherever you live, there is usually a section of, evolved or evolved in the area. So uh, definitely join. It's uh, $49 a year and uh, great benefits. There you go. So if you're a Mercedes-Benz owner, you can join the club. And if you're not a Mercedes-Benz owner, you can join the club after you uh, get a Mercedes-Benz. So Aaron, thanks for coming on the show. Appreciate it. And also, we uh, throughout the, uh, the warmer months, we have uh, autocross, uh, drag races, and track events. So uh, if you're... Uh, if you'd like to do more than just the uh, dining drives and winery tours, come out and uh, burn some rubber. There you go. And be in the house right here on Planet Vehicle. With we, we've got Henry. How you doing? Doing good. Now How let's good. talk about the car you have here. And I understand it has a a history of bull. Bull. Yes, I'll just say bull. <laughs> it's it's, it's a family show. So tell me about the history of bull with this car. Uh, this car right here um, is the was owned by Stacy King of the Chicago Bulls. Um, it's a 1991 560 SCC AMG that was tuned by uh, AMG. So back then, AMG wasn't owned by Mercedes. So you would actually have to go to them and spend a princely sum to get all the stuff you see on this car. So this is actually a lightly equipped AMG, but it has the full body kit, suspension, and he threw in a $20,000 stereo system. Wow! <laughs> So now, so when I say this car it was, well, it was full of bull. <laughs> <laughs> it still runs, man. Well, I guess it's a four-seater, so if you had him, Scotty Pippen, Michael Jordan, and uh, what was one of the other Bulls players? Cartwright, Cartwright, yeah, yeah. He had all them, man. And for all I know, they all were in the car. Yeah. So now I understand, do you race cars, tune cars? You know, how did you get involved with the Mercedes-Benz Club? Uh, with the Mercedes-Benz Club, I got involved because I took this actually to a car show because mm. I always wanted one. For some reason, I, just, I had a little Hot Wheel when I was a little kid. My dad bought me the little Hot Wheel, and I was like, I just loved the way it looked, mm. and so I always wanted one. Mm. And thanks goodness to time, you know, the prices <laughs> went down. Well, look, look, look. <laughs> the car prices went down and your money went up. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So it became affordable. Because when uh, adjusted for inflation, a car like this was around two hundred thousand dollars when it was new. Wow! So that's 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 a house. <laughs> that's a, that's house a pricely house. sum. <laughs> yes, it's a princely sum. So, go. the uh, yeah, I just I just love the car, and I got this one. I found it on the internet. It was one of those ones where you you start searching late at night, and it popped up, and it had uh, twenty three thousand five hundred miles on it. Well, what did it say? Ex ex basketball player broke needs a, he needs to sell his car. It didn't say broke. It didn't say broke. I think he's doing good. He's like announcing now for Comcast. Okay. But uh, the second owner was um, a guy who owns a lot of dealerships. So he was the one taking care of it. And so yeah, it said ex basketball player Bulls, you know, right. sound system. And I was like. I like all of those things. <laughs> well, cool. Great. Thanks for coming on Planet Vehicle and giving us the, the history. And, and that's no bull. It's all right here <laughs> on Planet Vehicle. Thanks. Thank you, man. We've got more coming up from Goose Creek Shopping Center. We've got some great things coming and some more great cars. So keep it right here. It is Planet Vehicle. I'm here with my buddy Franco. Now, Franco, you know, you and I have known each other a couple of years now, and you're always a trendsetter, and you have one of the new CLA Mercedes-Benz. How are you doing today? I'm very good, very good. Thank you uh, for being, letting me be here with you today. Um, this is the 2014 CLA Edition 1. Um, I believe there's only going to be 700 of these built. Uh, it's got all the AMG cladding. It is the most aerodynamic vehicle out there, more aerodynamic than a Prius. It gets 38 miles a gallon, and uh, 
and it can go fast too in sport mode. <laughs> <laughs> but but you haven't been speeding, have you? No, not at all. No, not no. at all. There you go. Listen, uh, you and your fiance Samantha have been involved with Sunshine Kids, and that's an organization that I've been working with you guys. Let's talk about that also. Yes, the Sunshine Kids organization. Uh, we've been working with them for a few years now. It is uh, dedicated to children with cancer. And um, what we do is try to bring smiles to kids who have been hospital bound for a very long time. And we try to get them out of that environment and take them on fun events and trips. Cool. Let's give uh, the folks who are watching the uh, website for Sunshine Kids if they want to learn more and, you know, maybe donate. Uh, absolutely. If you want to donate to the Sunshine Kids, you can definitely uh, donate at sunshinekids.org or you can contact us through uh, prudentialva.com. Uh, and uh, we have our fundraising event every year, but we do collect funds for the Sunshine Kids year-round. Yeah, and so you know, every October they have the Sunshine Kids 5K, and I've been uh, fortunate that they've chosen me to be their MC and DJ. And we, we have a fun time, don't we? Absolutely, absolutely. We've been lucky to have you there. Um, you, you make the event for us, and, and it's a wonderful. So, and see, Samantha, his, his better half, is she's standing over there, and she, Samantha, come on over here, would you please? She didn't want to be on the show. You didn't want to be on my show? Is that what's going on? Oh, of course I do. Okay. <laughs> but you are the person who's been spearheading this with, with, with Franco regarding the, the Sunshine Kids, and tell us what that means to you. Well, the Sunshine Kids Foundation is very near and dear to our heart. We do like just, we love spending time with them in May when they do come. And you've actually joined us for our, that event and personally spent time with them and seeing them smile. And that just brings so much warmth and love to our hearts. So there we go. It's two great people with a great cause and a great car. It's all right here on Planet Vehicle. You know, it's funny, during the taping, I was supposed to have the CLA AMG, and we made a switch, so I'm going to get it later. But, you know, you, you came in, Franco and Samantha, and, and brought it in. Here it is, the new Mercedes-Benz CLA. Join us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and the web. Planet Vehicle brings you the world of automobiles.